Welcome to another edition of uh, Water for Thought. Um, today, we'll touch on a slightly touchy issue. Uh, many of my friends, I do have friends by the way, uh, ask me sometimes, what is this issue with Pakistan and Indian Muslims um, having such uh, arrogant view about themselves? A sort of self-righteous air of, uh, you know, goodness that they carry around in India. I mean, seven, eight hundred years of occupation and rule, was it not enough? And then I have to explain to them that there is a fundamental teaching within uh, Islam, which is not there in the Quran, by the way, and there is no evidence that it is true. But there is plenty of evidence that almost every Indo-Pakistani Bangladeshi Muslim believes in it. Now, what is it? This is a philosophy, a theology, a doctrine. Doctrine would be the right word. That says that the ultimate goal of a Muslim is to work towards the end of human civilization. I'm not kidding. And that means Rose Qayamat, the end of times. And Rose Qayamat, which we all, all Muslims desire that it would happen, because we believe that life on earth is like living in a transit lounge. It's like a, we come here with a connecting flight and the destination that we ultimately have to go to is paradise, which as Muslims we will get, uh, you know, after paying due penance, for the sins that we've committed, but all the non-Muslims will be out of there. So what do we have to do? What is our goal? Our goal is something called Ghazwa Hind. Ghazwa means a war in which the Prophet Muhammad himself uh, took part. Now, the Prophet of course died a long time ago, but there is a hadith, a saying of the Prophet in which Abu Huraira, one of his uh, companions quotes him as saying that the end of time will not come till a detachment of Muslims will gather in Jerusalem and under the command of the uh, final coming to of the Mahdi to earth will attack Europe and convert all Christians uh, to Islam and, um, and that will be phase one, the main segment of the war. The, uh, the Hadith refers to Europe as Rome, which uh, ultimately means Christianity. However, there is another segment of the Muslim population that will attack India. As specific as that, Hind, and that's why it's called Ghazwa Hind. And uh, uh, the doctrine is that after the main thrust of Muslims converting all of Europe to Islam, there will be one place in which people will still be worshipping idols, as in statues of Ganesh or, you know, uh, all the different gods and goddesses like Kali. Uh, that and Durga that uh, are part and parcel of Indian life, they will have to be destroyed. Every Hindu will have to be converted to Islam. And until that is done, the end of times, which we call Rose Qayamat, the day of Qayamat, which is the end of human existence on earth, will not come. Now, most of you who are non-Muslims, find that a bit odd to believe that we would pr we Muslims would pray for the end of time but that's that's reality now similarly uh, people who are Hindus believe that they will come back they believe in, uh, in uh, you know transformation in um, uh, various ways uh, that life continues endlessly that's a different way but we don't we believe that we as Muslims believe that this Elimination of all idol worship primarily because it is Hinduism and Buddhism. Less so Buddhism. Hinduism has to be erased. Muslims have to either convert every Indian to Islam 
establish the caliphate and then will come the end of times and we will all depart from the transit lounge to paradise. Now, you may not believe that, but that's the belief of every serious religious Muslim. Many Muslims just scoff at this. I can assure you, most Muslims in India have no clue about this, but the leaders do, the Imams do, the Maulanas do, and the Jamaat Ulama Hind, the Jamaat Islami, the Diobandi, the Barelbi, all these madrasas that provide the leadership, they do. I'm sure Dilip Kumar and Javed Akhtar don't believe this uh, as an example, but others do. And as long as they do, they will continue to hold hostile views towards the majority population of the Indian subcontinent. And that, my friends, is why confronting the doctrine of Ghazwa Hind is essential. Please, no one should say, wow, well, forget about it. This is just a thought or provocation by Mr. Tariq Fatah, and that's what he does. No, this is reality, and you should listen to it from people who are clerics of high standard, who speak about this both in English and in Hindi. We have a few excerpts over here. एक बात हम बता दें हमें ज्यादा कॉम्प्लेक्स बातें नहीं समझ में आती कैसे होगा हमें पता है कि मेरे आका सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम ने फरमाया कि आखिरी दौर में खिलाफत अल्लाह में राजे नबूवा कायम हो जाएगी कैसे होगी मेरा प्रॉब्लम नहीं है मेरे आका ने फरमाया होगी होगी उन्होंने फरमाया गजवा हिंद होगा मुसलमान हिंदुस्तान के बादशाहों को जंजीरों में जकड़ कर लाएंगे कैसे होगा ये अल्लाह दिखा देगा पर आफ्टर दैट यू बेटर वेक अप एंड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन बिकॉज़ दिस इज अ वॉर ऑफ थॉट आइडियोलॉजी एंड थिंकिंग दिस इज नॉट अबाउट मिसाइल्स रॉकेट्स और जेट्स no this is a war of ideas in which same people have to win and those driven by madness and doctrine should surrender that should be our goal until next time khuda hafiz fi amanullah jai shri ram jai hind